hey guys i hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video so in this one we are going to look at how we can create this footstep effect here as you can see when her foot touches the ground we spawn these particles and you can use this in your projects to make things look cooler so let's jump right in and see how we can set this up by the way, if you're interested in learning how to make a complete first-person zombie shooter game in Unreal Engine 5 using blueprints, check out my new course. In this course, you will start with the basics of Unreal Engine and blueprints. Then, you will learn the animation framework in Unreal. Next, we'll create all the animations we need using control rigs and finally, you will put everything together and build a fully functional game. It includes 7 weapons, a HUD, win and lose conditions, ammo pickups, enemy AI and a wave based game mode. Check out the link in the description. So here I am in a third person template in Unreal and I am using the default settings here. Here as you can see my character is using the run animation here and I'm going to use this animation asset to get my events. So here if you select your character, hit Ctrl E to open it up, you can see that it's using an animation blueprint here. When I go to my animation blueprint, you can see that here we have the event graph and here we have the walk and run states. And here in our run state, as you can see, it's using this blend space and inside it, it's using a couple of animation and it's blending the animations using this asset. But here in the default settings, it will only use this animation here and we can just use this for the purpose of getting our event notifies. So here, if you go to your animation folders on armed, here we have attack, jog, jump and walk and here in jog we have unarmed jog forward and this is the one that we want to use. Here as you can see we have these notifies here. Here when his right foot hits the ground we have this and then here when the left foot hits the ground, we have this notify here. We can use these as events in our animation blueprint and this will give us exactly what we need. If you don't have these, for example, if you are in earlier versions of Unreal and you don't see these, all you need to do is to add a notify track inside it, right click, add notify, create a new notify give it a name, for example, footstep, and adjust it manually. So here, when the foot hits the ground, put it here, then go for the other foot, duplicate the other one, and so on. And then you can use these notifies here. But again, we already have the event, so we are going to take advantage of these. They are called foot plant right and foot plant left. So here, when we go to our animation blueprint and go to our event graph, we can right click, search for foot plant. And as you can see, we have foot plant left and right, and we can use these guys as events. So here we have left, and now let's go for foot plant right. And now, for example, if I add a print string here and plug this in, you can see that when the foot hits the ground, we can fire the function. All right, now we need to spawn a particle when these are fired. So here, let's delete this, spawn emitter at location and we need to do it for the left and also the right foot so duplicate the function and put it here and now we need to select an emitter 
in order to grab some free VFX assets, you can just go to Fab, search for VFX, set the price on free. And here, as you can see, you have access to a lot of cool VFX assets. The one that I use is this realistic starter VFX volume 2. So just download it and add it to your project. And here it is. We have a lot of different VFX effects. And if you go to your particles, you can see that you have blood destruction and so on. The one that I want to use is destruction, destruction, concrete. So this is the default particle effect. And as you can see, it looks something like this but I don't need the debris, so I'm going to turn these off and just keep the Visp. Another thing you can do is to adjust the lifetime so it doesn't stay for too long. The default value, I think, was 1 to 4, but I think it's too long, so I'm going to set it on 0 0.5 and 1.5. Great, now here in our animation blueprint, we want to spawn P destruction concrete. So select P destruction concrete and also set it for this. Great, and now we need to give it a location. It needs a location for the spawn. The location is going to be our foot bone. So here, as you can see, we have these bones and these are exactly the locations that we want to spawn the emitters. So this is ball underscore R and this is ball underscore left. Here in our event graph, we have a casting and we have a reference to our third person character blueprint. So here in our variables, we have a reference to our character and we can use this to access our third person character mesh. So grab this and now from this we can get bone location or get socket location for the mesh. Now here we need to define the name of the socket that we want to get access to the location. So here for the left foot, we want to go with ball underscore L. And then duplicate. And for the right foot, we need to grab ball underscore R. So change it to R and now we have the location as well. Now if I compile and play, you can see that it spawns the emitter exactly when the foot touches the ground. And now you can play with the scale. For example, we can make it smaller. For example, let's go with 0.4. And you can also play with the color and the lifetime and the other aspects of your emitter as well. Now, as you can see, it looks better and more natural. Again, if you want it to look even better, you can experiment with other particles. Here, as you can see, it's a destruction particle, so it's not made exactly for our purpose. If you search more, maybe you can find something that works better. But the logic is something like this. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you liked the tutorial, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.